So we are ready for the opening face-off. The Stingrays are in blue and yellow, the Giants in white and teal, the puck drops, and we are underway. And straight away, it's Keith who comes forward and the shot onto the blocker of David Brown. It goes up into the air, and it's the Stingrays who will carry it clear. Havato to Tanaka. Tried to play it back across, and it flicks up off Elfring. There's Chevery's first touch. Heath tries to get onto it. And the Stingrays have taken it back. Avato direct and steered aside by Murphy fairly comfortably. Puck comes to a stop on the sideboards. Brookwell manages to dig it out. And across to Elfring, a pairing on defence that had so much success last year. And they're paired up together again this season. Here's Meyer. Delayed penalty on the Giants as Meyer's shot is saved and the whistle goes. And the first goal is going to go. And it's a slashing call against Adam Keith. Don't quite make the most of that power play opportunity. And Compon will be first to this in the corner as the Giants make changes and get fresh legs out onto the ice. Strong play from Galbraith. Stingray's back in possession. Galbraith is bursting forward and he's in behind Mason. Eric Galbraith! There's the start the Stingrays wanted. The Giants caught out with the long pass forward and Eric Galbraith made no mistake. Big Eric with the big goal at 2.34. Stingray's coming in two to winning it, but it's McCutcheon who gets it back to Sorette, whose shot was skinned to the skates. Oh, and there's another penalty coming. Turcotte just stepped across. And it looks as though we are going to get an interference call going against Mike Compon. He will head to the box, and the Stingrays will head onto the power play for the second time. Compon trying to take it down the boards knocked off his feet by Chilcott and Chilcott is to this first and we've got another penalty coming and it is a tripping minor and this time it is the Stingrays who will go to the box and indeed it is Jamie Chilcott who will have to sit for a couple of minutes Nice pass from Compon to Surrett, and the shot is saved, and Brown scrambling after it, he can't cover it up, and it's been knocked in on the backhand by Peacock. Brown made the stop, but scrambling after it, he couldn't get onto it. And the Giants have tied it up with a power play goal of their own. Craig Peacock's got it, and we are tied up. Stingrays don't get it out again, it's flipped into the crowd and it'll be Lark who moves it clear and Meyer who takes it across the blue line looking for the pass across, tip deflected and saved Davis's shot was blocked by Murphy and the follow up from Meyer went wide Osman, what a cracking start we've had to this game ten great minutes and chances at both ends And your Giants are on the power play at the moment. Peacock, scorer of the equaliser. Sawada, Elfring, Shields! Oh, what a shot! Slap shot along the ice, and in off the near post. And Colin Shields is at it again. Davis's long pass forward, it'll reach Avato. Opportunity for the Stingrays, backhanded shot. And it just goes over the top from Tanaka. Little two-on-one develop momentarily. The puck just wouldn't quite sit down and Tanaka had an awkward shot to get away. Havato started this game well. Pass across to the far side, grabbed in by Chartrain. Give and go behind the goal, oh, he was looking for Davis. And Murphy covered up for just long enough to get the whistle from referee Hicks. And now Lozon. Oh, there's a penalty late behind the play. David Phillips doesn't agree, but a high sticking has been called. And the puck had just got away from both of them. I don't think Phillips needed to get involved. But he's been called for high sticks. And the Stingrays have another power play. 
So we are ready to go with the puck drop. The start of the second period. And first possession for Cody Brookwell, who flips it nearly out of play onto the Stingrays bench, but it does just stay in play. And the Stingrays will have to play it out of their own zone. And we're in the early stages here. The Stingrays are in blue and yellow, the Giants in white and teal. And Adam Keefe is after this one. On to Chevery, given a little shove by Lozon, tries to lift the stick, but Chevery stays in possession. He's moving into a dangerous area in the wrist shot. Goes past David Brown and past the far post. And now the Stingrays will come forward for the first time in the period. Tanaka's shot from the angle, rebounds out for Chartrain, and that's fired into the glove. And then it's covered up by Stephen Murphy. Shields to the far side, Turcott can't reach this one. Big collision, and Turcott is going to go for that one. The hit is made, the Giants player is down. I think it's David Phillips, not certain on that, it's down. But Jan Turcott is going to the penalty box for sure. And Mike Hicks had a decision to make. Shot is charged down, Davis will take it on. Mason's trying to catch him, he won't catch Davis, but Davis won't get the shot off. And there is no penalty called, and the Stingrays bench and fans are not happy with that. Davis bursting in behind. Oh, the chance here on the side of the goal. The puck's still loose, and unbelievably, Meyer's shot's been saved by Stephen Murphy. Davis has lost his helmet, and Keefe has then just nudged it away with his stick. Davis will have to go to the bench. And the Stingrays are unhappy about a lot of things, but what a save in the middle of all that from Murphy, who stacked the pads to kick away a shot from Jordan Meyer, that's got the Stingrays crowd going. The Stingrays so nearly level and so close to a penalty shot perhaps. Lozon goes for the wrist shot, it's kicked away. Busy minute for Murphy, Osman grabs that one down and he'll chase after this one, he can't get past Peacock, I think he's trying to buy an interference call, he's not going to get one. And this game could just be about to explode. Chilcott lifted out of the zone, Elfring takes over, room in front of him but offside as Savada couldn't clear the zone on the near side. Brings them forward and across the line, passes just out of reach of Surrett, he's onto it now. And then the reverse from Compon, the save is made by Brown and he reaches on and he covers up. And Eric Galbraith is lying just about on top of him. It's a nice pass from Compon out from behind the goal. So we are ready to go with the puck drop. Referee Mike Hicks has it. And Carlos on wins it. And the first shot goes over the top of the goal. It's the Stingrays in blue. It's the Giants in white. And the whole Stingrays team who've made a habit out of falling behind and then fighting back in games this season. We'll have to do it again tonight. Here's Lloyd. Oh, well swiped away by Osman. Lozon can't get it to Havato. And it's Brookwell around the boards. The play by Keith. Prevents Tanaka getting to it. There's a penalty coming in here. And it's going to come against the Stingrays, I believe. And it's a slashing call, or is it going against Chevery? In fact, it is Evan Chevery, I beg your pardon. A slashing minor, and it goes against the Giants. And an early start, or an early chance for the Stingrays to get off to a good start in this third period. Just 38 seconds into the session. Davis trying to play the pass into a dangerous area, but Havato just to step off the pace. And didn't quite read the intentions. Chance for Surrett. Oh, he's put it wide. Oh, and I don't believe McCutcheon has missed from there. The puck bounced back to him. He had an open goal. It went right across the face. And then it's saved and cleared away by the Stingrays. And McCutcheon has missed a huge opportunity to give the Giants a two-goal lead. Murphy. And then the puck is cleared away. And then we've got a bit of afters behind the play. And a bit of a shove, and it's all happening here. But play still continues with Lozon. Now there's a penalty coming, and it's going to go against the Giants. Lozon's pass doesn't reach its target. There is a penalty coming on 
the Giants. Mike Hicks has called it. The Giants are not happy. Looks like it's Chevery who's been called. But there was action ahead of the play, behind the play, on the puck. A really busy shift. And a hooking minor has been called. Elfring. Elfring allowed to bring it in and shoot, and it took a deflection and loops up and away to the far side of the rink. Elfring again, room to shoot. Oh, a slap pass to the far side, and a great diving save, but the follow up is put in. It's Sawada with the goal, and the power play works again for the Belfast Giants. They've got three with a man advantage and lead 3 1. And they fall back very well on each occasion, but just couldn't quite fight back far enough. They came from behind to lead against the Edinburgh Capitals before going on to lose. There's going to be a cross-checking penalty here against Jan Turkop. They fall back to tie. Robbie Sandrock and Meyer holding off his man well. Opportunity, lows on, big chance, short-handed goal! This game is not over yet. Carl Lozon has made sure of that. Four one for the Giants to give away. The Stingrays have sent out their six best offensive players and they've won the draw. Here's Carl Lozon. Can they make it happen? Shot through a crowd, came through and hit Murphy. Lark will get to it in the corner. Lozon, 20 seconds. Peacock has made the block, but he's lost his stick. Shot through a crowd, oh, and it hit the crowd in front. And then the long one is going to miss the empty net. Oh, and the whistle has been blown for icing. And the officials have made a mistake there, I'm sure. Because there's no way the Stingrays are going to get to that first. I think they've forgotten about the new rule. Suwada would surely have reached that puck first. The Stingrays might have just caught a break with seven seconds to go. But because of the mistake in the decision, they're going to have the new face off and neutralize. And that might just be enough for the Giants. The whistle should not have been blown for icing, I'm sure of that. The Stingrays can be frustrated, but they shouldn't have got the whistle in the first place. It's all about who's going to reach the puck first. And the Stingrays were up ice, it was the Giants chasing after it, they would surely have negated an icing call. It's not automatic, and with just seven seconds to go, this should be enough. The Stingrays are going to have to win the draw, charge to the blue line and unleash a long shot. They do try and force it through, the puck is in the zone, but the Giants will get to it. Elfring will kill the final ticks, and that is it. The Giants are winners against the Stingrays for the 21st time in a row.